Turning now to the weather and Peyton, we are all ears because we're going to be uh, hopefully having a great weekend this this weekend as well as all the barbecues and all the mm -hmm. events that are taking place this weekend. And the Memorial Day festivities yeah, and honoring those who lost their lives so that we can have the freedom and enjoy them. Oh, yes, of course. And Austin, what is the phrase that you use to describe some of the things that I get excited about in the morning? Peyton's pumped. Yeah, that's your, that's your whole I segment. I am pumped. Peyton's I am pumped. out here. Yes, Peyton's pumped. And I am because I'm out here and I actually get to see the sunrise. So you're actually taking a live look from our CSU camera right now. As you kickstart this weekend, it's a long weekend for some. If you maybe don't have a long weekend and you're at work like Austin, Danielle, myself, Lindsay, and everyone behind the scenes too, I want you to know that this is going to be maybe the trickiest timeline of the entire weekend, and that is honestly just a few sprinkles in my predictions here. A few extra clouds linger this morning, but a whole lot of sunshine starts to take over as we hit late morning, early afternoon. High pressure going to be in control, and we get much warmer day by day, and that's because high pressure is going to start to build on in. That'll change our wind direction, so we'll have a southerly component. So each day here in your Memorial Day weekend forecast gets warmer. Warmer. So today right around 70 degrees by tomorrow for Sunday, a few high clouds in the mix too as a weak system kind of passes us. But right now rain chances on the low side for tomorrow altogether, low 80s for Memorial Day itself near 90 degrees. So if you do have plans, remembrance plans, observance plans, make sure that you are staying hydrated. Maybe it's simply just a backyard barbecue. I want you to know that that sunshine is also powerful this time of the year. The UV index today is an eight and that's on a 12 scale. So yes, it's going to be high, a quick burn time, a few sprinkles out there locally, but big picture for us, as I mentioned, low pressure tugging farther east. That'll impact the eastern seaboard as we head through the day today and early tomorrow. But for us, that means we see improving conditions. Sunshine, a smile on my face, probably a smile on yours as you get ready to kind of plan out the rest of your weekend. Temperatures, though, close to 60 degrees right now for all of us. And today in your national Zymark hour by hour forecast on the hour, high temperatures today just right around 70, as I already told you. But right around noon today, I think we're going to be in the mid 60s. So that's going to be something that maybe you plan accordingly if you have maybe those outdoor plans today. Maybe it's lunch outside. Maybe you still have to bring the jean jacket. Maybe it's a light spring jacket with you. And then you can maybe toss it away. I think some of those Lakeshore County is going to stay a tad bit cooler. And the extended forecast beyond just the holiday weekend, because we've talked about that time and time again in this forecast alone, it's going to be pretty picture perfect. But just know that things stay warm on Tuesday. Our next chance for rain is not until late Wednesday. And then we see those chances for rain sticking around for Thursday. So we've got a lot of dry time. If you maybe got out and planted a garden, don't forget to stay on top of your watering this weekend. <laughs> All right, Peyton, Wednesday, Thursday, future us can just deal with that. We're going <laughs> to we're going to soak yes. up the sun in future the meantime. <laughs> All right, Peyton, thank you so much.